Okay, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Borderlands 2. We are going to be doing some of the uh, the DLCs. The first one is Captain Scarlet's and her pirate booty, I think that's what it is. So make all your booty jokes now. Uh, <laughs> three, two, one. Yay, there we go. Called it. My mouse is on the screen. Don't ask me, but move it. No, you're just not going to move the... It's going to bother the crap out of me. And the Vault Hunters found it and killed all the bad guys. The that mouse is bothering the shit out of me, would it? No, Damn it. No, no, that's not how you start a story. <laughs> I thought it was pretty good. And I think you're not getting fed Jesus. this week. Now, this is how you start a story. With a mouse. Legends speak of Captain Blades, lost treasure of the sands. Of a prize so great that men would turn their sands red in pursuit of it. Of a pirate queen, courageous and deadly. Who would stop at nothing to find it? Of a monstrous leviathan. Of the vault hunters who journeyed to the desert town of Oasis, not knowing the horrors that would befall them. See, that's how. Under pirate booty. Okay. Mine was more succinct. Your life's gonna be succinct, you dirty little orphan. So this is gonna be about pirates, uh, but more specifically, sand pirates. Welcome to my lovely And this guy's a Oasis fucking weirdo. <laughs> Shade. If you could please save me from the filthy sand pirates trying to steal my water. So yeah, uh, we are in a new town called Oasis. Uh, this DLC is like centered around uh, sand pirates, which is pretty cool. It's a different like flavor to the game, which is nice. Um, but what I like about this is that they offer uh, a new piratey version of a of a ship, boat sort of thing, which is cool. It goes on sand, which is. It gives it a different, like, a uh, car, is essentially what it is. Um, which is nice, it's pretty cool. I think they have, uh, different cars in most of the new DLCs. At least in this one, I know there's no new car in the Tina's DLC. Torg, I don't think has a new one. Um, actually, no, I think this is the only DLC that has it. <laughs> um, I don't remember when we got this weapon. I think this is the, uh... This is Borderlands 2, I, I forgot what, where I got like half these weapons. It's been longer than I've, I've, I haven't actually recorded any of the uh, audio for these games yet, so I have no idea what the fuck's going on. Right now, uh, the town of voices is being attacked by... The, uh, the town of voices is getting attacked by a bunch of Repskillians, and there are different pirate, uh, sign of pirates, which is cool. There are like some undead versions where if you don't kill it fast enough, uh, the damage you do will actually heal it and he'll like charge and become more aggressive. Uh, they were a pain in the ass when I didn't know how to deal with them. Um, in this game I deal with them pretty well. I have a better chance at them. Um, but there are different versions of the pirates. There's like Repskillians, there's, uh, there's these cool like big daddy type uh, bandits. Um, I think there are Big Daddy bandits, like actual Big Daddies in this game, like a, which is a reference or a homage, whichever you prefer. Um, there are different kinds of pirates, there's like undead pirates, there's a, they offer a, a wide variety of different kinds of enemies that have different fighting styles, which is nice. It's a bit, it's a, it's a fresh of like, uh, it's English of some sort. Breath of fresh, breath of fresh air. There you go. Um. So Shade is pretty weird. He's shady, if I could say that without making a stupid pun. Um, yeah, he's pretty fucked up. <laughs> this whole town is really weird. There's only one person in here, that being Shade. So this is no beard. <laughs> I guess like a black beard play on words. Uh, I don't know what weapons I have. Shotgun. I don't remember that being that good. We do get a new weapon, uh, a new shotgun in this game. For whatever reason, the shotgun they give us in this game is actually really good. And every time I play this, it's always better than the weapons I have. Uh, I think he has a corrosive weapon, so either that or I blew up a barrel. Um, but I got really nervous that I was going to die, which I, I do. Um, I don't die too often in this game. After a while. <laughs> Which is nice. Yes, 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 yes. Now that my water is safe, let us chat in person, like people. What's that ruckus coming from Oasis? Oh, is that a fool hunter I see? I'm Captain Scarlet, and something tells me you're here.
you for the treasure, same as I am. So, we've got two options. We can work together and split the treasure, or we could just try to kill one another. Or maybe both! Come find me in Wormwater, yeah? So, that's Captain Scarlet. We get introduced to her pretty early. Um, she's an interesting character, but I don't think we get, like, a very good closure with the deal with this DLC. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. I think maybe the second time around, because they have this sort of the same thing with General Locks, where you can go back and finish the last couple missions, which is cool, uh, except that I don't feel like doing that. <laughs> uh, and this is a shade. At the Kitty Cream, I think he's working at. I am Shade, and you, you are the coolest person I have ever seen. Please don't go. Please. So, you're a new BFF. Yep. He's pretty creepy because uh, of what happened at the, to the city, which we'll get into as we get The townspeople of Oasis, thank you. If you're looking for the treasure of the Sands, you want to talk to Captain Scarlet. Excuse She's me? set up in Wormwater. You'll need Sand a script, that's what called. Use mine. It's the least I can do for the stranger who saved the many living people of my town. Oh, you're so cool. So if you notice that he says the many living people, today, you know. Friend. Have you met my friend Frank? He is a very gruff man and an alcoholic. Yes, it is a tragedy. He becomes very irate if he is not given the finest whiskey. Could you please procure some from the merchant caravans nearby? Oh, I'm using a Hyperion SMG. Oh. <laughs> my biggest foe. Um, so I wanted to know how far this mission was. It's farther than you'd think. These maps are pretty pretty big. Um, there are quite a bit because, you know, there's a whole different sand script that you can use to drive around. So the maps in this DLC are fairly big to accommodate that fact. Uh, and there's this guy. My wares are only for those. So he's like Crazy Earl and he needs a specific kind of uh, currency called Seraph Crystals, which we can only get after defeating Seraph Guardians, and we'll get to that when we get there, because it's near the end of the game. So, it blew up. Oh no! Did my sand skiff just randomly explode, forcing you to stay in Oasis and hang out with me some more? Darn. Well, my other friends out in the flats might have some sand skiff parts for you. They are very nice and alive. Go talk to them, but be careful. If you step on the flat sands out there, the sand grubs will hear you and eat you, and then you won't be able to hang out with me. So most of these guys are in town, and if you can tell by the joke already, they are actually dead. Uh, for whatever reason, the entire town died of dehydration. And this sort of, like, I guess, impacted Shade. Now he, he thinks that everyone's trying to... He's trying to make them still alive. And this guy's impaled by, like, three different spears by... <laughs> like, he does not have very good separation issues. Or, he has very bad. Well, hi! How you doing? They call me Jocko the Joker. I'm a I think he's minute. stuck in hey, his what's stomach. what's the difference between a skag and a lack of water? There isn't one, because they'll both kill you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he is a cut up. Oh, gosh, Jocko. Jocko borrowed one of my pressure regulators for one of his comedy bits the other day. Find it, and it is yours. So yeah, most of these guys are dead, and I think I used poor Jacko as a uh, as a place to get off. <laughs> so... And you'll be on your way to Captain Scarlet and the Lost Treasure. How fun that you'll be leaving me alone. <laughs> uh, I don't know when we dropped that. Um, do we have any space in our backpack? I don't remember. We have one. We have 26 or 27 spaces. Uh, you have a lot of weapons in this game. I think I do throw some of them into the bank every now and then. Um, and I think this is the highest damage pistol that I have, so I'm like, okay, good enough. Hi there, Jen! I'm Jennifer! Clothes and boys in high school and gossip! <laughs> That's Jennifer. Jesus. A nice girl, but very naive. I think she has a magnetic overthruster you could use for the sand skiff. So most of these people are dead, if you can't tell. Uh, and he has this weird thing where everyone... He's trying to make sure everyone is still alive, in, at least in his own mind. Uh, which is pretty creepy. Um, we, like, we need to get this guy some help. Oh, my word. A new person is like, this person doesn't even have a fucking head. And this person is so handsome, too. <laughs> the speaker is the head. <laughs> Ugh, that is Mrs. Blavis. Be careful. She is a relentless flirt. I always feel like a piece of meat around her. I gave her a coolant disperser several weeks ago as a gift. Take it! Could I please be getting surprised with that shake? You are so attractive. 
The weirdest part about it is that he went through and tried to give voices to everyone with different personalities, and it's really, really creepy. <laughs> he went out of his way to do this. So, yeah, it's a little weird. Um, I mean, when everyone in the village dies besides you and you have a dehydration problem, uh, it might affect you mentally, just just a little. And then yeah, there's a few people like on the outskirts of town that are set up. Uh, there's one guy down here. This is Lionel. This is not the drunk, but this is, uh, I think, a fisher. Why, hello, person. I'm feeling very good today and not that from thirst. How are you? Uh, you've met Lionel. How are you, Lionel? Not dead of thirst. Ha ha ha. <laughs> oh, tell me about it. How is your family? Well, they. <laughs> that is a great story, Point Lionel. Case. Friend, I believe he has an engine capacitor stashed somewhere nearby. It's yours! Uh, and I think that's the thing hanging off the rope. And they get eaten! Because <laughs> fuck you. <laughs> that's why. So we now have to go find the uh, the worm queen, that, or sand worm queen, that ate it. And these are, I guess it's an introduction to the new kinds of enemies. Uh, which are sandworms. Uh, for the most part, they aren't too bad. They're not like annoying. Um, I guess besides this one that ate the fucking flux capacitor, engine capacitor. It's the flux capacitor. He apparently spawns little tiny babies that I forgot about. Uh, but if I just reload, I kill most of them anyway. So, <laughs> uh, and I think I almost die here as well. I do die. I don't go down, do I? No, I think I kill one of the small babies. Yeah. Uh, so in this game, a lot of the health is uh, much bigger, and you do actually have to be concerned about that. Like, my shield's only 3,000, my health is, uh, I think, 5,000. And I got a really cool weapon. Just think the Homing Shock Singularity. It's good we have so much water. Otherwise, we might have died of dehydration. <laughs> so, they... Oh, yeah, there are some new kinds of chests in this game. Please, attach those parts you retrieved to the sand skiff. Then you may scan it and summon one from any catch-a-ride machine. So they do have some different uh, style chests in this game, which are really cool. It adds, like, flavor to them. They look like little uh, treasure uh, boxes. Treasure boxes? Yeah. Um... Which is, it adds some pretty cool flavor, it makes you feel more like you're in a sand piratey area. Which is nice, it's pretty cool. Um, and now we have to rebuild the machine. By just going to the green, sort of like what I did earlier in the game with the bandit car. And voila. Oh, she is fixed! Wonderful! Please hit that button to digiscanner into the catch a ride system. If you want. Um, so yeah, a lot of the weapons are still bad. <laughs> sort of like the Borderlands one issue where the items in this game aren't exactly the best after a while. There. You may now destruct a sand skiff from any catch or ride machine. Before you go off to meet Captain Scarlet, though, you must return to me. Uh, the thing about the sand skiffs is that there are, uh, different skins that you can collect. So there's a whole, like, skin selection that you can uh, find and customize, which is pretty cool. It's like adding a new car. I, I had no reason to call you back. I just enjoyed your presence. The only thing I don't like about it is that it's like stuck to this DLC only. You can't exactly take a sand scarf out into the uh, rest of the game, which makes sense. But... For several years. <gasps> you should sail out to meet her in your sand skiff. Oasis needs your help, my friend. So I just had to do a few missions for his crazy town. You haven't met Jocko, yes? He is a simple man with very big dreams. He he wishes to be a sand pirate, you see. I'm sure he would love it if you could give him some piratey prosthetics. Uh, teeth, peg legs, things of this sort. So you have to collect gold teeth and peg legs for this guy, even though that he's dead. Uh, and these are some missions for this random girl. My great-grandma used to be a sand pirate around these parts, but I don't want anybody to know that. Her old ship is just outside of Oasis. I need you to scuttle it and erase any evidence of the creepy stuff my grandgram used to do. Go get the explosives I stashed for you. So yeah, that's like your typical teenage girl, which is freaking annoying. <laughs> freaking annoying. Um, but I do run over to this little town over here to go pick up 
uh, one of the few missions that is repetitive throughout the entire game. Sort of like a Clutathon, but with more flavor.